Howdy y'all. I'm back. I actually, uh, ooh, can you see me? Decided to, uh, do some trimming with the new fun tool. The, uh, sun is directly over the garden right now, and I don't really want to, uh, I don't have a lot of sunblock on, and I don't really want to get that hot. So, let's see how these work. Okay. help if I put some gloves on so I could grab stuff just in case I accidentally grab the roses okay I'm gonna grab them you look at my roses they were in my pocket the whole damn time yes power tools He really has a problem with me using the uh, table saw. I don't know why. I could cut a finger off with these or a braid. We don't have to worry about any kind of sticker grass here. Where I grew up out in Oklahoma, there was lots of sticker grass. I think I'll move this a little bit closer. So we don't really have that here where you, know, you get those, I don't know what people call them goat head things or I don't know they stick in your stock they stick in you they're horrible but the one thing I do have to suffer with here is I have two huge holly trees most of you have seen them there's one there and there's one there and though they are green year round they make lovely berries and the birds and, and that kind of stuff love them they tend to, uh, when they shed their leaves, I mean, they're pokey and painful if you ever experienced holly when they're green. But when they dry out, they will draw blood. And uh, I grabbed a hold of a couple of them yesterday when I had taken my gloves off and I had stopped weeding. But when I get started weeding, it's like I get hyper focused and it's like a, I don't know, I just keep reaching down and grabbing stuff and I pay for it later. So, and I got poked by those things a couple times. I used to sit down in the garden on my butt, on my box, and scoot around and weed when it was wide open and it was easier on my back. But I uh, kept setting on them. Yeah, yeah, that's not fun. So here we go again. I don't know if it's fun. I tried to get Paul to uh, go around the bushes when he was weeding the other day, but I don't remember what his excuse was. He's like, ah, oh, but that's yours, and I don't want to do the wrong thing. I'm like, if it's not a rose bush, then you're not cutting the wrong thing. This is something that in all the states I've lived in, I've never experienced like in Delaware. And it pulls out of the ground, but it's sticky. Not really syrupy sticky. I mean, it will make your fingers sticky after a while, but it's like cling to you sticky. And it's just invasive. I figure it's something somebody imported here that went crazy, kind of like, you know, the people who did the kudzu crap and all that stuff. But Why am I not pushing or squeezing? There's a few older, smaller rose bunches in there that I haven't taken out. So I don't mind if they get cut. I'm just 
trying to get this grass that's gone crazy over one winter and spring. I know I'm slack. One day I'm gonna hire someone to come professionally get all this out and put down mulch and then I'll take over. I usually just reach in here and pull it all out, but this grass isn't exactly comfortable on the knees either. But I should bring my stool over here, but you guys are using this stool for the fun. <sighs> oh hell, I'm gonna take a shower anyway. Who cares if my knees get dirty? Lock it up, this little thing flips. Okay. I'll lock it. It when it hit that then it seems to have bent something a little bit. Or topped up one of its little blades. I'm sorry, I know you're new to the family. Don't tell Paul. If he watches my video, he'll say, ah, that's why I don't let you have power tools. Yeah. All right. I may have to go to my toolbox and get a file. I'm going to ants right me. And fix these that I. I've already fucked up. Yeah, yeah. There you have it. I've never used one of these tools anyway. Let's see. See if it sounds any better now. All it's doing is knocking off its powder coating. I don't want it to, uh, knock all that off so it's uh I'm gonna make a trip inside I just don't want to probably the smartest thing would be take the battery off well that's it for now when I come back out and this is fixed, we may proceed with this video. Um, though I'm a feeling it's probably way too boring for that. Um, I gotta get some tools. <laughs>